pleased to be joined by Baylor head coach Dave Aranda. Coach, how you doing? Doing really good. I want to start with positives from 2021, uh, really 2020 and 2021. So some stats I'm going to give you and you'll tell me what you think. 34 sacks in 2021, 44 takeaways over the last two seasons. The question for me is how do you create such a great defense in two short years at Waco? I think I appreciate the question. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it is identifying what you do well. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's kind of coaches getting out of their own way mm -hmm. to let the players take up the space and use, you know, maximize what you're doing well, the stuff you're not doing well. If you got to hide it some, hide it, develop it for sure. Right. And then, you know, there's creative things that are available to try to, you know, maybe get a disadvantage to an advantage. And so I think all of that is a, is a way, I mean, I, you know, there, there was a time where I was at Utah state and I remember we, we were trying to be like Hawaii. I was at Hawaii the year prior and we had all these D linemen. And so we played with like five D linemen, a package, right. Of all, all of them were like 300 pounds. And like that was, those were our best players, you mm -hmm. know, and we'd have Corey Prittis was linebacker behind him and he'd be unblocked and all this other thing. And we go to Utah state and we're like trying to do the similar thing. We had, we had very few D linemen, but we had a bunch of DBs and was, they had recruited Florida really well. Corey Raymond was on the staff mm -hmm. and um, they had recruited uh, some junior colleges pretty well. Mm -hmm. And so we start playing with six DBs. So it was almost mm -hmm. like the exact opposite, but that's who we had, you know? And so I think, you know, that's, it's always a challenge because, you know, coaches are going to live in their own world mm. of their own, you know, tactical and kind of, you know, guys are being judged and their values based upon, you know, this addition or this decision and all the other thing, but still remains a player's game. Mm. And so I think it's, it's always a challenge. You know, I think especially when you have success, it makes it harder mm. because you think that it's you, <laughs> you know, and so it becomes the thing. <laughs> Well, that's one of the things that Bryson and Dylan wanted to outline for me as I asked them a similar question. Mm -hmm. And they were really good about saying, yes, we, we have a great scheme from our coordinator in Ron mm -hmm. Roberts. You are obviously a big part of that. They mm -hmm. talk about the religious experience of you using a whiteboard and mm -hmm. explaining to them what their jobs and responsibilities are. Mm -hmm. But they also take ownership of the defense. Mm -hmm. And I found that to be really, really interesting because most of the time players don't get to take ownership mm -hmm. of what they're doing. It's like, yeah, we got the plays, but we got to go execute. And it's that's cool. on us. It's pretty cool. You know, you, you can, there can be, you can be an artist, man. Mm -hmm. And that's like the highest level, really. You know, I think there's a movie I was watching. It's a documentary. It's, um, was it, is that uh, Jiro G Dreams of Sushi or something like that? It was about, you know, being a craftsman. Mm -hmm. It was about being, you know, ma a mastery level. And it was about this, this um this sushi chef and all he thinks about is sushi and he goes through the same thing every day and it's like th his little restaurant is like 10 seats it's sold out for like years and the whole thing but i think you know when you become an artist at your craft it's it's a whole other level but i think there's a fair amount of people that have to get out of the way hmm. you included uh for that to happen because I don't think it's something you can control. I think it's something that you allow to kind of take place. And so, you know, I think when you can have players that, um, you know, even the LSU teams, you know, when Devin White was there, we were something. When Patrick Queen was there, we were something else. And so I think for them to kind of take on that role and, you know, it, any amount of success, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a success on a, on a, um, a Saturday scrimmage from fall camp, there's success in, you know, um, a first uh, home game, right? Playing time, there's success on the road, right? There's success for a conference championship, there's success for a bowl game in each level, right? That whole thing's a thing. And so I think if you can keep it simple, right? And really develop the players um, and the people that drive those players, I think they can take the whole thing to a whole other level. They can. Mm -hmm. I also really would like your perspective on this because I think of that as a privilege. Mm -hmm. um, I usually, when I'm feeling antagonistic about say your profession, mm -hmm. I'd say, hey, there's a lot of other people that allow that dude to just focus on this mm -hmm. from what he wears to what his day looks like. It's mm -hmm. regimented. You have a lot of people mm -hmm. that assist in you being focused. Mm -hmm. How do you allow for artistry when 
you're responsible for so much else. More to the point, you're a head coach and not mm-hmm. a defensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. So you have to be responsible for both sides of the football mm-hmm. team. And now you're doing things like this. Do you see an opportunity to be an artist in what you do? And mm-hmm. how do you allow for your players to just focus? I think you have to go down before you go up. Mm-hmm. And I think, um, you know, I think ascending and accumulating and all of it is cool, but you know, that's not it. And so I think, you know, to get people to reveal themselves mm-hmm. is, um, is, is difficult to do because people being people, they'll find a way to get in their own way. And I think, you know, building the trust in community enough to where someone can be who they are and not, you know, be p- performative or not try to act a certain way because you think this is how I'm supposed to act when I'm in this room. Mm. I'm going to leave this room, go to another room, act another way, mm. right? But all of those things just get in the way of it. And a lot of those things are, they're all started from the coach, right? Mm. And kind of how he set the tone for the thing. And so I think if you can get someone that can be who they really are, mm. and that's a hard thing right there. And then from there, the next step is for them to be who they are in competitive and tough situations mm. where there, you know, there's judgment, you know, what was it in the Coliseum where it's, you know, where it's this, that's basically what it is. That's basically what's happening, you know, on your phone and on the social media and everything else. And so for you to kind of, you know, you have to be able to see that, Hey, this is who I am. Football is what I do, but it's not who I am. And there's all these things that have to go into where you taking your true self and expressing yourself on the field. That's a form of expression. And it's the highest form of being authentic. You know, when there's pressure and there's competitiveness, that's the artist. But, it, you know, I think it's within everything we do, there's a task within a task, mm. right? And so it's, the, you know, it's what's the energy you bring? Mm. What are the honest motivations that you have? You know, what are the the intentions that you're bringing to this, it's the task within the task that we have to win, you know, because I think we're, um, I think people know enough of, you know, what's expected and know enough of how stuff looks that they'll act their way through it. And that ain't it. So. It's also incredibly scary mm-hmm. uh, to be so vulnerable, mm-hmm. to be who you want to be, who mm-hmm. you are. Mm-hmm. As you're going through these phases and you have these these men mm-hmm. at a very delicate place in their lives, mm-hmm. giving them an opportunity to reveal themselves to you does not mean that they are capable. Because yeah. That requires a level of introspection. Yeah. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure everybody's up for. Mm-hmm. So when you feel that resistance, mm-hmm. how do you go through? Yeah. I was thinking about that today, actually, is that in the, so 2020, 2021, I don't get, really get it as much now. There's some now. Mm-hmm. But I can't tell you how many conversations I had in those two years of where I would feel like I would be, I'm being honest and I'm being, I'm saying what's in my heart and all of it. And I can just tell by the look on the person's face that they don't believe anything that I'm saying. They don't they, they think I'm like full of whatever, you know, mm-hmm. like they don't believe it mm-hmm. and they don't, they don't, they don't agree with it. And they don't, you know, I can't tell you how many conversations and so you know if it was that on monday then it's like you know, i'm gonna talk again on tuesday and then we have another talk on wednesday and it was just it'd be that really so i think like you know everything's a thing man because i think it can be simple if you allow it to be but then if you let your ego get in the way of all of it then it becomes well yeah, yeah, you know becomes a whole other thing and so i think so much of it is if we're in an event let's keep let's keep you know, the focus on what we're in, that would be the task within the task. And let's not create another event when we're already in one, right? With our ego, you know, e- I would define ego as, as um, you know, not seeing reality, right? Mm. Not not being what, what it really is, you know, the the veil over over what actually is, right? It's the, the lens of what you want it to be. And so I think it's a constant, it's a constant fight, I think, for, for people and, you know, I think for myself to lead and try to model that, um, you know, you don't have to be an a-hole man to get stuff done. So there's other ways. 
Coach Randon, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.